the UK Parliament adopted the controversial UK amnesty law. The law tabled by the Conservative government aims to offer conditional immunity to people accused in cases during decades of unrest in Northern Ireland. The bill talks about the establishment of an independent commission, which will deal with more than 1,200 unsolved killings. Since its inception, the bill has been heavily criticised by victim groups, human rights organisations and most of Northern Ireland's political parties. In return of the immunity, individuals are expected to cooperate with the Commission in their investigations. The UK government says the bill will address the legacy of the Northern Ireland Troubles and promote reconciliation. The legislation will apply to all former members of the security forces and ex-paramilitaries. The House of Lords suggested amendments to the bill. They suggested to give victims' families a greater say in granting immunity to offenders. But the Tory majority in the Commons rejected the amendments. Europe's leading rights watchdog, the Council of Europe, has expressed serious concerns about the amnesty. The issue dates back to the 1920s. The term the Troubles refers to the decades-long conflict in Northern Ireland. The conflict was between the Protestant Unionists or Loyalists and the Catholic Nationalists or Republicans. The Unionists wanted Northern Ireland to remain part of the United Kingdom and the Nationalists wished to see Northern Ireland become part of the Republic of Ireland. In 1969, the British Army was deployed in the region to counter the uprising and the conflict continued until the 1990s. It ended with the US brokered deal, also known as the Good Friday Agreement. Official reports suggest the conflict killed more than 3,500 people.